Hello everybody. So for today, I'm going to tackle with you the language of the national exam 2016, the catch-up exam, okay, of arts. Now, fill in the blanks with the appropriate phrasal verbs from the list or phrases from the list. So here you find the list of phrasal verbs. Number one, made up, turned down, set up, looked up, came back. So made up, this is the past of make, make up. What is make up? Make up, it means to invent a story. Someone who invents a story to justify something, okay? When you invent a story to justify some something. For turn down, to turn down, it has two meanings. To turn down, it means to reduce the volume of music. Uh, for example, the music is loud. Your father says, please turn down the music. It's too loud. It disturbs me. But there is another meaning of turn down. Turn down, it means to refuse an offer. Someone gives you something and you refuse it, okay? You turn down his or her offer. You find set up. Set up with it with business, means to start a business. Set up or establish a business. And you find look up. Look up with it especially for dictionaries. Uh, look up words in the dictionary. If you don't understand the word, you look it up in the dictionary. You search it in the dictionary. And you find come back. It means to return to a place. You go to a place and then you return to it. Now let's uh, go to the sentence here. And we have here two gaps, two blank spaces. When Khadija completed or finished her studies abroad, abroad means in another country, in France, in Italy, in Canada, okay? She to Morocco and her own business with the help of her family. So here, from the context, we choose the appropriate phrasal verb. So Khadija finished her studies abroad and she to Morocco. Why? because she wants to her own business with the help of her family. So, what is the appropriate phrasal verb here in the first blank space? We say she came back. To come back means return. She came back to Morocco and set up her business, establish her business. Okay, now for B, fill in each gap with the correct word from the list. You find whom, these are relative pronouns. We use whom for people, especially when it is when, when the person is in the object form. Especially when you find sub, okay, you find person, blank space, subject, verb. Person, space, subject, verb. We use whom. The man whom I met, the man whom I met, the man, person, whom I met, subject, verb. And you find where? We use it for a place. Who? We use it for people, especially when they are in the subject form. Who is? We use it especially for possessive, for possessive pronoun, for people and for object or animal. And when we find noun, noun, we use whose. And which for objects or animals. Now let's go back to the exercise here. The woman husband. What do you find here? You find noun. The woman is a noun. The husband is a noun. So when we find, as I said before, when you find noun, noun we use whose. Means the husband of the woman. The woman is a noun, husband is a noun. So we say, the woman whose husband died in the accident claimed that the man was. So when you find person, space, verb, person, verb we use who. The man who was the man is a person was is a verb was driving is a verb so person verb we use who now let's go back now to exercise c give the correct form of the words in brackets people with tradition views here we find we'll find give the correct form means we deal with prefixes or suffixes when you find the noun we change it into an adjective when we find a verb we change it into a noun uh, what is an adjective? An adjective modifies a noun. Always the adjective comes before a noun. Look at this sentence here. People with tradition views. You find views is a noun. Tradition is a noun. So now, now, now we use what is before a noun is an adjective. Views is a noun. So what is before views should be adjective. So the adjective of tradition is traditional views. Tradition is an adjective. Views is a noun. What is before a noun is an adjective. And we'll find a verb, we change it into a noun. 
we civilians think that women should stay at home too. Okay. Participate. And the noun of participate is participation. Okay. Participate is a verb. Participation is a noun in the political life of the of the country. They thought of use their participation now. Exercise D. Put the verbs in brackets in the correct tense, in the right tense. Alice, we are really enjoying our stay here in Marrakesh. When you join us, it's a question. Jessica says, I be there next Monday. You find your next Monday. This is an adverb of time which expresses future. What is future? Will be, will plus what? Will plus bare infinitive. Or will not or won't plus bare infinitive. Alice, what a pity. We won't. We won't or we will not be able to see each other. By the time you arrive, I leave. Now, look here. I think, okay, so the dialogue here takes place in the future. We say, when will you join us? Or when are you going to join us? Because the adverb of time here is next Monday. Jessica, so the answer is in the in the future the answer should be in the future jessica i will be there next monday okay i still have some work to do alice what a pity we won't be able to see each other by the time you arrive i will have left when you find by 2022 by tomorrow by next year we use future perfect what is future perfect will plus half plus past participle because you find by the time okay now let's go back now to the other exercise it's exercise uh, d now choose the correct sentence or certain sentences our teacher suggested that we will read the text at home our teacher suggested that we should read the text at home now which suggests suggested always is followed by jiran or with that subject should be infinitive. You say, I suggest eating out. Or I suggested that we should eat out. You say, I suggested eating out. Or I suggested that we should eat out. So, suggested plus gerund or plus that plus subject plus should plus bear infi infinitive. So, the correct sentence here is... Our teacher suggested that we should read the text at home. Or we say, our teacher suggested reading the text at home. Why not? Okay, so suggest plus gerund or plus that, uh, plus subject, plus should, plus bear, infi, infinity. Number two, the next Olympic Games will hold in 2018. And B, the next Olympic Games will be held in 2018. If you see the next Olympic Games will hold, means the Olympic Games will hold something. So it's uh, it's false here because it's uh, uh, it's ungrammatical, but here it's uh, we say the next Olympic Games will be held. Passive voice of model will. So the correct sentence here is the next Olympic Games will be held in 2018. Passive voice of model. And for B, we will go to a restaurant if my father. Uh, uh, we would have gone to a restaurant if my father had got home early. This is conditional type 3. With conditional type 3, we say if plus subject, plus had or hadn't, plus past participle. Main, okay, the main case we find uh, subject plus would have or wouldn't have or could have or couldn't have plus past party participle. We will go to a restaurant if my father had got home early. So the correct sentence is we would have gone to a restaurant if my father had gone home early. 